Hello, Assalamu alaikum. How's it going? I'm Sifan Razim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Prince Bua Karamina Tussankar, a Gambian public intellectual currently in Scotland. Um, I would like to make a Quran recitation challenge uh, in response to the latest development in our country, that our country being torn into an Islamic state. We being secular and liberal, those in mean we don't know our religion. We have a secular constitution that gives people the freedom to practice their religion the way they want, as long as they don't uh, trample into the right of their neighbors or fellow citizens. All citizens in the country pay taxes, regardless of their beliefs, which means that you know they have the right to live peacefully and coexist. It is unfortunate when some people are shouting Allah's name 24 hours or Jesus 24 hours, they think that you know uh, they are supreme and that they have to be in control. While that's not case, it is the secular constitution that gives you the freedom to do so. And the fact that we are not disturbing you, we are not interfering, doesn't mean that you know you should command our destiny. You have to live like everybody alongside. Now, today I just want to make a whole uh, recitation challenge. I will read two or three surahs from the whole Quran, depending on the time. And then you'll see. Then let's start. Approach. I'm an African, so my pronunciation accent is going to be African. You know, so I'm not an Arab, neither British. I apologize. I have a cold in case I don't pronounce the things correctly. Or in case my voice doesn't work. Then we start. From which order do we start? Hal ataka hadisul qashiyat. Ujuhum yawma izin qashiyatun amiratun nasibatun tasla naran haniya tusqa min ayni naniya laysa lahum ta'amun illa min dari la yusnin wa la yughni min jud Ujuhum yawma izin naimatun lisaiha radiyat fi jannatin aliyatin la tasmau fiha laghiyan فيها عين زارية فيها الشرور مرفوعة وأكواب معدوة ونمارق مصفوفة وذرابي مبسوسة أفلا ينظرون إلى الإبل كيف خلقت وإلى السماء كيف رفيت وإلى الجبال كيف نسبت وإلى الأرض كيف سبحت فذاكر إنما أنت مذاكر ليست عليهم بمشايفر إلا من تولى وكفر ويعذب الله العذاب الأكبر إن إلينا إيابهم ثم إن علينا حسابهم سنخلع العظيم في مترأي أنورا جابتا إن كيس لإستعين أرويسي والفاجر وليال عشر والشفي والغاتر والليل إذا يشر هل في ذلك غسم الذي يجر ألم ترى كيف فعل ربك بعادل رمضات الإماد التي لم يخلق مثلها في البلاد وسمود الذين جابوا الصخر بالوار وفرعون ذي الأوتاد الذين تقوا في البلاد فأكثروا فيها الفساد فصب عليهم ربك سوت أذار إن ربك لبالمرثاد فما الإنسان إذا ما بدلاه ربه فأكرمه ونعمه فيقول ربي أكرما وما إذا ما بدلاه وقدر عليه رزقه فيقول ربي أهانني اسكتني كلا بل لا تكرمون اليتيم ولا تهدون على تعام المسكين وتاكلون التراش اكل اللم وتهبون المال هبا جما كلا اذا دكت الارض دكا دكا وجاء ربك والملك صفا صفا وجيء يومئذ بجهنم يومئذ يتذكر الإنسان وأنى له الذكرى يقول يا ليتني قدمت لحياتي فيومئذ لا يعذب عذابه أحد ولا يوسغ وساغه أحد 
يا حيات والنفس المطمئنة ترجي إلى ربك رادية مردية فارقلي في إباري وارقلي جنة صدق الله العظيم فليش أجستو to make it clear my family my generation we've been uh, we've been in islam since the 12th century since the ghana empire you know we migrated down south of senegambia basin up to the gambia you know to practice religion we've been having uh, uh dara traditional islamic uh, center in Sarahuli, as we call it so we are not newcomers to, to to islam it is unfortunate that this journey just comes these newcomers who discover islam only recently you know are trying to dictate to us how religion should be we were practicing islam before the first drop of oil was discovered in arabia in the whole of arabia so we are not in islam because we need petrodollar charities from the gulf or from any other world, but we are in islam because fi sabili fi allah because it is a religion for the world but we chose to be tolerant what did allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say la ikra fi din qad tabayna rusul min al aqai there is no compulsion in religion the truth has been separated from the wrong. So why? Why? Why all this hypocrisy trying to tell us that you know you understand religion? All those people who are talking about Gambia turning into an Islamic state, they are all late commerce in religion. Let them tell us their analogy. I can count my family generation. You know, each generation we produce half his Quran, at least 10, 20. We've been sending people to Al Azhar University. You know? We've been training people. Ask anybody the Sam Khanu, the Ture, and the more in Sodu Masere. All our family network in Sarah, we know. So we know Islam. We are withdrawing. We are calm because we know the religion. Anything I don't know about Islam is not worth knowing. So please, stop. Enough of this religious hypocrisy that's going. Enough of all this crap in the name of Islam, in the name of Allah. We know what is there. We just choose to be secular and liberal to tolerate everybody. Secularism has nothing to do with West or East or whatever. It is part of our African culture. In every African village you go, we have people from different ethnic groups. You know, secularism is the glue that sticks us together. The fact that we live Fula, Sarahule, Jola, Mandinka, Manden, we live together, it is because of secularism. But we intermarry, we live together, you know? it is secularism that made this possible. You know, Secularism that make us, uh, make us overcome these tribal differences. So before even thinking about it as being a Western concept, we have it in our culture. You know, we live together, we have common bonding. In, 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 the, in Senegambia, Desi, we have this uh, cousinage, you know, Sanawiya, Dangkutu, Mendeman in Sanawiya. That shows that, you know, it is secularism that made that possible. But when it says secularism, ah, it means it is the West that is fighting Islam, blah, blah. It is all bull crap. We are not stupid. We are not babies. We are just tolerant. We live in a democratic world where everybody's freedom of speech is allowed. And that's why when we allow our politicians to talk about it, it is because they are democracy. But, you know, they are not the ones who control the country. When it comes to Gambia, many people are making noise, they don't know it. 99% of Gambians don't even know their country. We have a lot of young people in Combo, they never traveled beyond Combo become. But they are making noise as if they know the country. Gambia, those who are there making noise are not the ones who control the country. I speak in Mandinka. You know? So please, stop wasting our time. You can go to wherever and say whatever, but you, know, you don't have the final say in affairs of Gambia. You know? You can be a minister, you can be whoever, you can be the richest guy, you can be, you don't control Gambia. You have no say in Gambia. The people who control Gambia are there. The old man, if those people shake, you know, we know it. So please, we are tired of all this crap. Go ahead with your life. Do a Gambia is a, is a, is a country of tolerance. You know, what Makisal did, he, make, he, make, he, he controlled some uh, fanatics. It's good for us. The fact that we Gambians are sitting down peacefully because there's peace in Senegal. If suicide bombers are b blowing each other in Kaula in the neighboring country, we will not be having the freedom to be talking freely like that and say that you know we are just like that. You know. And to all those fanatics whom you don't know, oh, you'll come to Gambia because it has been declared an Islamic state. You are you are you are you 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 are, you are, you are fooling yourself. You will be caught and sold to the Americans. Remember what happened during the uh, the, the, the the war on terror. Some people came to Gambia, they were caught, and then during this rendition, we know what happened to them. So if you think that, oh, Gambia is now an Islamic country, let's go and impose Sharia, let's go and fight. Let's go and fight for the president and do jihad. You come there, they, you will be sold to the Americans or to whoever, whether you know it or not. It's politics. It's a trap. So stay where you are and leave us. Gambia, we know peace, we know tolerance. You know, that's what we know.
we've already had our own religious war before the Kabu Council, before colonialism. You know, we had this, you know, the last empire, Kabu Empire. It was a religion that destroyed. Serekunda is a refugee camp. You know, it grew out of, you know, Sairio started, but at the end of the day, refugees who came, who were fleeing the war, they came there, and that's why they became bigger town. So people know, should know their history. We already had an experience of all this jihad, you know, destroying life and culture in West Africa. So why are we inviting trouble again? We need peace in Gambia. We need to find solutions to, to the challenges that are faced. Many young people are leaving the country. We all know that something is not right. We have to address that one. And how do we address certain things need to happen? But nobody knows want to talk about it, but everybody knows what should be done. But nobody wants to talk about it. We're waiting for Allah to come and fix it. He won't do it. You know? So please, in the name of peace, in the name of tolerance, Gambia belongs to all of us. Let's not destroy it. If we destroy this country just because some, some people need money from the Arabs, you know, or they need money from whoever, huh? we, are, we, are, we, are, we are destroying the future of our, our children. We don't need the money from the U.S. We can tell the U.S. the truth. Keep your money, you know, but we have our these things. But we can also tell the Arabs the truth, you know. So we are not happy. We the diaspora. We are keeping the country alive. You know, the West is not giving us. We are not getting a check from uh, the European government. Or the it is through our labor. We work today. I get my salary. I send money to Africa. So we are keeping Gambia alive. So we are surviving without the money from the Western donors or development aid. We are surviving without petrol dollar from the Arabs. You know. So we are also. So we are really running the Gambia. We are keeping the Gambian economy alive. So we don't need that. So we can tell uh, Obama the truth. You know, Merkel the truth. Just like even the, 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 the Gulf, you know, Petro monarchies, we can tell them the truth. You know, so the same thing we have to tell our leaders the truth because you know, we are paying taxes. Any Gambian who is paying, any person who is living in Gambia, whether Gambian or non-Gambian, you are paying a tax. You know, you are paying your taxes. You know, you are respecting the rule of the law. You have the right to practice whatever you believe in. So I don't know how it is. I don't know what's happened. Why is it? Why, why is it that you know? I mean, Gambia is always in the news for the wrong reason. You know, every day it's always a splash in the, in the in the pool, a very stinky one. I don't know why. Can't we just build this beautiful country so small to build? Eh? Why are we making life difficult each other? We are inviting trouble again, Islamic State again, a cancer. Once it enters, finish. Civil war enter Liberia. It took ten years before it could use Liberia Sierra Leone. Religious war is more dangerous. Once it starts, it, it, it doesn't stop. You know, I believe, I hope that you know all the older people who experience Kabu Kansala or oh, there are some oral historians will please uh, educate the people because the young people don't have the chance. All they have is flying to America, get a job, work, work an accountant, work as these things. It's only the financial parasitic sector. Africans are not learning their history. So I'm employing all the, uh, uh, requesting all the uh, old people who are there to, to teach the young people about the disaster caused by the Kabu Kansala Muslim, non Muslim war. So that you know the disaster that you know that is being invited, you know, can be can can be stopped. You know? I would like to thank you very much for the time. So let me see whether if I'm not my voice favors me, I add another uh, surah. Or let me drink a tea and then see a cup of tea and then see. So like I say, my brothers and sisters, this is all Muslim. You know, la la inna la kana Do not kill yourselves. You know, do not kill yourselves. Allah, Allah have ma got mercy on you. You can translate the other way around. So please, please, with all due respect, let's cut all this nonsense in the name of religion. God will take care. Our relationship between God is God. It is our interhuman relationship that is going to make life difficult. You are not going to keep me company in your grave. Eh, in my grave, I'm not going to keep you company in your grave. So why making life difficult? You know, all this, you know, religious show, competition, you know, you know, it doesn't make any sense. Pray if you are going to pray, if you are not going to pray, leave it. Allah will judge you. You know, but why do we have to always go force each other's throat, you know, trying to force a dogma into somebody, dogma into somebody you are already now. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Democracy is part of Islam. Secularism is part of Islam. It's about tolerance. You know, it's about tolerance. We just have to look for the local uh, name for it. But you know, if you go to a village or in Gambia, you walk to the street in Gambia, it is secularism. The fact that you can sit down with your Jola, Manjago, Serer, uh, Fula, Sarahule, Nebo peacefully, that is secularism. It's not a Western concept. It's, a Gambia, it's an African concept. 
and then let me see uh, I read one more surah and then we stop there Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Sabisma Rabbika Lahala Lazi Khalaka Fasawa Valazi Khadra Fala Valazi Agrajal Mara Fajala Ugusan Awa Sanuriluka Fala Tansa Illa Masha Allah Innahu Yala Muljahara Wama Yafa When Yasirika Lil Yisra Fadakirin Nafati Zikra سيذكر من يخشى ويتجنب على أسخى الذي يصل النار الكبرى ثم لا يموت فيها ولا يهيا قد أفلى من تزكى وذكر اسم ربه فصلى بل توشرون الحياة الدنيا ولا الآخرة غير وابغى إن هذا لفي صوف الأولى صوف إبراهيم وموسى صدق الله لازم أن بل سورة أقول so it's affecting my pronunciations and all this thing. I apologize for that. Thank you very much and thank you for taking the time. And me, yes. Anything I don't know about Islam is not worth knowing. But I just choose to be secular, liberal, and I choose to be a bad boy. What did the Arabs say? Kullu shabab majnoon wa la kana alim. So the same thing. I'm a young educated, young intellectual, but I'm crazy. I'll continue to be a Casanova master of the seduction arts. I'm going to continue to be a crazy thinker and an unconventional thinker. I know Islam, but I'm not going to force it on anybody. I'll continue to, to pretend as if I know nothing about religion. You know, I'll continue to play the liberal because that's what we need. You know, because this religious competition is becoming too much. So it is better when we have people who are out of the con uh, convention, people who think are out of the box. And let me stop here. Thank you very much for that. I am Prince Bubakar Aminata Sankhanu, currently in Scotland. See you soon. Bye bye. Ciao.